I look crazy. <laughs> Overexposed, much better. I was feeling a bit out of, um, a bit washed out. Today is Saturday. I have made breakfast. I've chilled out a little bit, showered, and now I am getting ready for the day. My skin has been through it the last couple of months. This is um, it started off as a pimple, and then I just can't keep my hands off pimples, so it left a scar that's slowly healing. My chin, if you can, can't tell, there's the scarring here and here and a small one here. And that's also scarring from a pimple. I had like three pimples here and I just, yeah, I, I'm convinced it's, it was just stress. Um, but the rest of my face is doing fine. I'm just like nurturing it to health. See this? I woke up with something and yes, I have just popped it, but I... I'm gonna leave it alone because I don't want any more scarring. So we're doing my makeup for the day and I'm going to show you guys how I do my everyday natural makeup. I was asked this question by somebody on Instagram, but I'm responding here because I feel like there's more time for me to just talk you guys through it. I don't know how to do any other kind of makeup but the simple one, the simple kind. And I have a mirror here, so if you see me looking here often, that's what I'm doing. My makeup has always been, and my window is open, I have to close it, it's a bit noisy. Okay, close the window. I was saying, I don't know how to do any other kind of makeup, but the simple kind, I try to use as less product as possible because i do want this uh makeup routine to be something i can do every day every other day without like fussing too much so right now i'm filling in my brows and if you can see i'm just like drawing lines that are like going up i'm not a fan of thick brows i want everything to look as natural as possible and then there's this um it's a new toothbrush actually that i've just decided is my eyebrow uh brush and I sometimes use it for my hairline. And so what I just do is brush that up. I don't know if you can see. And then I take a little bit of concealer. This one is by MAC and the shade has just rubbed off. I think it's NC50 if I'm not wrong. I just pump a little bit of that. Yeah. And what I do is I just take a little bit of that and just clean under my uh, brows. I'm using this t tiny uh, brush that I got, gosh, years, 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 years ago. All my tools for my makeup are super old, but they're still very much um, in use because they're good quality. So I'm just cleaning like under my eye and a bit on top of my hand to do this in a way that you'll see so that doesn't look too bushy okay so even with doing this I still have a line if you can't tell there's still a line there and I do not like that line so what I do is I go in with a bigger brush and just like clean like clean under and that's really it for my eyebrows I do not do anything else I want them to look fluffy I want them to look natural next um i've not applied any uh what you call it primer i do have sunscreen that's the last thing i've applied on my skin and i have let that set or sit for a while maybe 15 minutes so i go in with my duo this is the forever skin glow and i'm the shade 7w mm -hmm. there we go i'm the shade 7w and I just do a pump. 
see like that's not even a complete pump it's like half a pump actually so half a pump and half a pump and then i'm just wiping because it kind of like falls off and then i take my foundation brush this is from sigma i believe gosh these are super super old brushes and what i do is because it's very light i just try to spread it out with my brush and i try to do half so the half i have pumped will be for this half and the other half is for that half so i try to just spread that out and i like to go in one motion so if i'm going down i just go like like that in one motion so then it lays in one direction i hope that makes sense because your your face has little hairs so if you just like go like this i feel like you're just making a mess i will go a little bit under just under my eye a little bit i'm not focusing under here because i'll use this concealer in a second so that's one half of the face done if you can't tell the difference it's not that much so no foundation on this side foundation on this side for me uh using makeup uh is just something to enhance your skin and not like hide your face you are beautiful flaws and all even with my spot i don't know if you can see it when i apply my foundation i'm not really covering it that's not my aim I still want to see myself when I look in the mirror. I'm just going to do this other side as well. I love the Dior foundation just because of how light it is. And it just sits on my skin really, really nicely. that's it i don't even have to like blend so much because it's very close to my skin color i got this foundation from the dior website um i don't know if it's available at linton's my skin and body that i got from linton's uh the one at two rivers but this i got off of the site so you can check out maybe if linton's have it go get test matched so you, you get the right color yeah and honestly that's it i just try to like push it down my neck a bit so you don't have that line of demarcation and a little bit on my hairline and then next i'll just use my hand my foundation my concealer sorry has just like melted a lot because my hand is warm so i'll just do like half of that and i will go under my eye and the other half under my eye and whatever is left i'll just go around my mouth I used to have really bad discoloration around my mouth and I 100% believe that the La Roche-Posay products have helped with that discoloration. There's a product I mentioned in one of my um, favorites earlier this year. I 100% believe that that is what has fixed this together with the La Roche-Posay soap. So I'm just using my hand as my tool whatever is left I'll just do there so I can like highlight that bit a little bit it's like where the light hits you is where you want to just brighten okay I look crazy I look so crazy it's got it's all gonna come together don't worry and did you see how little I used like less is more well for me when it comes to foundation and then i'm just gonna take my just wiping the rest i'm gonna take my sponge and blend that in trying to keep it around the same area i'm telling you i just had my braces adjustment uh done how many days ago two and it hurts to do this to press the sponge on my around my mouth it hurts that's how sensitive 
um, the braces are after you've just had an adjustment because they, they're super tight anyway we dab that in and then also remember the forehead somebody talked about filters on youtube and i had no idea that you can put filters on youtube or maybe i just don't know how to so no i'm not wearing any filters i have not put any filters i just shoot and that's what i edit and export okay i feel like i have cleaned up all the like harsh lines of demarcation between my uh, bright concealer and my foundation i have been using my mac mineralized skin finish to set my under eye this is supposed to just be like a setting powder for mac oh god it's so slippery there we go um i use the shade dark deep and i use this pointy there's a crow outside my window is it a crow i can hear a crow uh, anyway that okay that's not a crow i don't know where that is but anyway this is how it looks like and then i just dab see it's quite a lot but i use it for both sides so i'll do that side and around the mouth and around the teen area just gently uh tapping it I will either use the same mineralized skin finish for the rest of my face but with a big brush so I'll either use this or the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder but since I have this here I'll just like rub tap and then just very lightly go over my whole face and I'm just setting my foundation around my neck my hairline gently lightly over my face a little bit there because I, again I don't have any harsh lines okay and then last but not least is my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer gosh won't open my hands are so slippery there we go and i use like a, a pointed brush to do this i just tap and then i'll go in like i'll make the ooh sound ooh. <laughs> what i'm doing is i'm just like defining my cheekbones it looks kind of harsh but it's not if I do this, you can see, but if I'm just like normal, you don't really see. And then I kind of bring it to my like highest point on my cheek because it will also act as a blush. So, and sometimes whatever is left, I will just go like on top of my eyelid. I'm wearing false lashes, so I will not be doing mascara and all that stuff. I do wish I had an eyeliner that would like be nice so yeah just blend it i'm just trying to blend it so there are no harsh lines and that is literally it Let's spray my face Ooh, this is the airbrush flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury as well we do my lips night moth by mac I've been loving red lipstick but I don't think I'm gonna wear red lipstick mm, maybe a lip gloss 
I just rub that and that is my face. I'm still thinking if I, I'm going to do red lipstick or not. But I'm, I'm thinking not. I just want to do a gloss. I'm going over to my friend's house for a small sherehe. And um, yeah, I want a gloss. Something I can just like keep reapplying. I know for sure I'll not be eating that much because my teeth really hurt. They're really tight. If I like, like but do the biting movement like it's just painful and uncomfortable and so i possibly just be drinking juice water etc i am off alcohol for a while i just, I just take a break um so far so good i like it but um yeah food i don't know maybe if it's super soft like mashed potatoes or something mashed potatoes and soup that's what i can eat for now but let me get dressed i'll show you guys the final outfit and then we're out okay well hello there so i decided to go with um let me just brighten you up with a lip gloss this is the Dio lip gloss and it's almost finished this is the lip oil actually and this is the final outfit so my hat is Burberry and my shades are from Eliza Johnson my necklace is Van Cleef and this little knit is from the Geek Boutique I will leave it linked down below my dress is from Skims I actually really like it it feels really soft um, my bag is from Nairobi. Oh god, I forget but I will link it. Um, it's where I get my dupes for like Bottega This is, like I have a green one as well. This is the brown one. It's a smaller size They used to have big ones, but I kind of lost mine or it was stolen. Who knows? But yes, there's this this one I'm gonna leave it linked down below and then my shoes are actually quite old. They're from Asda. They're from George and they're just like this back in stock type and that is outfit of the day for saturday thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in my next video sending you so much love and light peace oh fragrance i'm wearing two scents at once uh fenty and um KLE vanilla 28 because i just it's a cold day i just want to smell yummy and at the same time the fenty has this projection i just i yeah so that's the mashup all right guys for real now bye